Saturday, July 20th, 2012. I mean July 21st. Whatever in the world you may be, welcome to Sahara TV. My name is Adeola Fayoum. While the world was toasting Mandela, bad governance, social injustices, and inequalities continue to be the order of the day in Nigeria. No story illustrated that this week more than the plight of the residents of the poor neighborhood of Makoko in Lagos. As part of Lagos State Urban Redevelopment, these poor residents were given 72 hours to relocate 72 hours their homes and properties were torn down into the lagoon while they looked on in a little while big mansions will emerge as replacements this is not the first time and we've all we all recall that this displacement of the Morocco resident also happened some years ago now on our show today we're going to talk to the displaced Makoko residents we will find out from them what really happened and how they are going to cope with the loss of their homes and properties in a similar story on inequality while the wife of the president patience jonathan was being sworn in as a permanent secretary 14 years after she last worked for the Bayesa state government workers of the power holding company are protesting non-payment of salaries in abuja the government has sent in soldiers to the power holding company facilities to intimidate protesting workers while the nigerian labor congress is calling for dialogue the troubles at the power holding company will be our hot topic of discussion when we speak to Joel Ajero, Deputy President of Nigeria Labor Congress and General Secretary of the National Union of Electricity Employees. As usual, we will take your Skype calls on this and other issues concerning Nigeria and Africa. Our question of the day is, should Nigerian First Lady Patience Jonathan have accepted to be sworn in as a permanent secretary in Bayelsa State? We have this question on our Facebook page. Don't forget to state your view. Join us when we take your calls on this and other topics. We will also read some of your Facebook comments on this question. On our round table today, we will discuss this discussions with Alaji Nawal, former commissioner of Boucher State. Also on the round table is Martins Oloja, Abuja bureau chief of the Guardian newspaper. Alaji Nawal will update us on the situation in Plateau State. We will also find out from him if the Fulanis are satisfied with the forced relocation being pursued by the military. And is that a permanent solution to the problem? As part of the celebration of the life and works of Nelson Mandela, Della, who will have Lyra, the South African soul and Afro jazz vocalist in our studio today. She will entertain us and also throw more light on what we owe a man who will be remembered as one of the greatest Africans that ever lived. We will round up the Mandela segment with a chat with South African Consul General George 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 Monye Mangene. Yes. For our country focus, we're putting our searchlight on Ethiopia. Though denied by the government, news report says that the president of Ethiopia, Mel Zenawe, is sick and he's in a hospital. What will happen to the country now that the dictator, who is known for the human rights abuses under his government, is incapacitated? We will talk to Kasaun Chakol, the publisher Africa World Press and Red Sea Press. Who, he will help us to understand the situation of things in Ethiopia and what it means for the troubled horn of Africa. Now, under our Inspire segment today, we will talk to Mohamed Ademo, the multimedia journalist and blogger, and David Mogo, the social media and technology consultant. They will update us on where social media trend is in Africa and how Africans can harness it for good. As expected, we will bring to you our regulars, Keeping It Real with Adeola and Dr. Damages. Now, this week on Keeping It Real, Adeola got a surprise phone call from the First Lady of Nigeria while on air. Find out what it's like to be in the shoes of the Nigerian first lady and how a lady lost the beauty pageant because of high heels. Also, Indian girls are forbidden from falling in love until they turn 40, and that's just some of the stories. Now, on his 50th episode, Dr. Damages got a surprise visit from the president of Nigeria, Good Luck Jonathan himself, who claims to be the real star of the show. This special episode features the best of Dr. Damages. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us for more fun and information please follow us on twitter at sahara tv one with the hashtag sahara tv and yes we are also on facebook just type in the word sahara tv stay tuned we'll be right back